kind of advice do you give to people as far as um, getting started with their creative life? Well, it's pretty much the same for almost any field. You have to be, you have to want it more than anything else. You have to commit yourself to it completely or you're not necessarily going to be any good at it. There are a lot of people who have talent, uh, but if you don't really learn how to use that talent, you're not committed to technically accomplishing something, it's going to be a hard life even if you are successful. So my advice is study hard and give it everything you've got, the beginning especially, and then see what happens. So how are you reflecting on uh, contributing to our culture? Early on, as a lot of people do, they say, you know, you're really too big to contribute, you have to be a doctor or you have to do... You know, the fact that there's something like that that is ostensibly, directly helpful to other people's lives. What I've come to understand over the years, and since it, it goes along with what I've wanted to do since I was four, that what I do is important to people's lives beyond survival, that the doctors like my brother, my late brother, take care of them. I'll take care of their soul by helping to reveal their soul to them, by helping to open their minds, open their hearts, have an experience that they'll never forget. And that, I think, there's a nobility in that. And I'm perfectly happy to be doing Of course, I, I do a lot of charity work, and I have a foundation for asthma, so I don't, uh, I don't just leave it at my work. I am involved in charities all the time, but my work is a charity in a certain sense. The only difference is I get paid for it. The charity I have to pay for. But, but the, what I do, people come up to me and tell me all the time, has been extremely important for them and given them great moments in their lives. And that's nice.